Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a pie chart more interactive using simple text as a legend and also different shapes and different uh, design in the pie chart. So first of all, go to insert and then go to chart options and then select the pie chart. So when you select the pie chart from here, you have an option to enter the data directly in Excel. So it will show you a small bar like this. I already have a sample data, so I'm just going to paste this data in this box. So this data is actually about the energy metrics used by different sources, which includes the aluminium, chemical, power and all the sources. So now I'm going to show and I'm going to make this chart the one like the one I showed you before. So I'm going to delete the extra parts, which is the title and the legend. And then I'm going to move the pie chart on my left hand side. So now we need to decrease the size a little bit for that. I'm going to reduce the size and also rotate it. So you can also rotate the angle of the slice by just double clicking on the pie chart and then you will have an option like this. Now let's just reduce the size of this pie chart to make it even and to make it small and also have an extra boundary around it. So for the boundary go to shapes and take a circle. Draw a circle and make it size 6.5 by 6.5 to make it big enough to cover the whole pie chart. Once you are done with the shape, you can select the height and width and then choose and shift and control and you can see that the icon is uh, the shape is well settled in the middle of the uh, pie chart Then you can send it to back. Now select the shape and go to home and then go to the fill options and go no outline and similarly choose this uh, outline color as a dark gray color. Similarly select the pie chart and go to the fill options and then go to the fill and border select no borders. So now it, this shape has no borders. Okay, so now this part is done. Now you have a good option and quick option which you can go in the chart layout. Click on the chart layout and then you see this option layer 5 which has which gives you an automatic option to select and to display the legend in form of text and also by just showing a connection between the section in the pie chart and the text. Now let's just leave the title of the slide and increase the size of this legend. I'm going to increase its size up till 16 and see if it suits better or 18. So 16 is the appropriate size which I like. Now for some shapes and some colors the size is the color is not too visible. So I'm just going to individually double select them and change its color to white so that they can be prominent in comparison to the other ones. Because normally when you use dark colors it's difficult for the text black text to be more visible. So now you are done with this text part. So now one, just adjust the shape in the middle and let's work on the other part. Now select the shape and drag it out a little bit then it will give a perspective that the shape is emerging out or the pie chart is emerging out. I'm going to do the same thing with the other shapes. You can do it randomly. I just did select it for a few shapes. If you want you can do one by one or if you want you can give with a three gaps or four gaps or if you want to highlight a specific region you can use this option by just uh, moving out a specific part of the pie from the pie chart to the outside boundary. Now you can see that I have moved my specific parts randomly outside the pie chart. Now I'm going to select the connecting lines and change its color to black and increase its width to two points. Now you can see that they are now more visible and more uh, they are more uh, painting on the screen itself. Now. Once it's done, we can work on the other part, which is the part that we are want our shapes to be more prominent. So go to the shapes, take a triangle, make a triangle uh, big enough or small enough so that it can adjust the specific area that you want to highlight. For example, now I'm going to rotate this triangle and I'm going to work on the purple part of the pie chart. So now as you can see that I'm going to place this triangle over here. I'm going to adjust its size accordingly so that it can fit properly the shape and the size of the pie chart that you can see behind this blue rectangle triangle. So now as you can see the tip is adjacent with the one in the back uh, triangle. I'm going to increase its length from here and I'm going to make sure that this length is beyond the circle, bigger circle that is behind the shape because I'm going to use the fragment merge shapes. So when I'm going to use fragments, it is going to divide the uh, circle into two parts and I'm going to easily color that part into a different shape to give a, a different perspective to the shape shape. But remember one thing, when you are doing merge shapes, do remember to copy the original shape first and then do that. Now I'm going to copy this circle just to keep it safe for the next part. Then I'm going to go and select fragments and now you see that all the shapes have been divided into different parts. Now I'm going to delete the unnecessary ones and delete the extra ones and I'm just going to use the ones that I require. So now I'm going to send this one to the back side and then before that I'm going to delete the appropriate part and then send it to the back side. Send to the back and then change its color to a little bit lighter gray. 
then the one used before and then the one I copied I'm going to paste it again and then send it to the back now similarly I'm going to do this for other two or three sections as much as I want I'm just going to show you an example let's say if I'm going to cover two or three pie charts in this pie chart chart it does take time but you need to be appropriate and you need to be precise while doing this you need to extend the length in such a way that it covers all the parts that you want to cover or highlight I'm just changing a different uh, color for the background so that it looks more prominent now you see that this part is done I'm going to paste the same circle which I copied in the start and going to send it to back now you can see that this circle has a different part and a different shade so that shows that okay this part is a little bit different from the other one I can use different gradients and different colors in order to show in order to highlight a specific part that I want to highlight and diminish the effect of the other parts in comparison to the parts that I want to show more now you see that this part is done and let's go to the other part and uh, let's go to the design and change the format background I'm going to change the background for my slide so that I can get an actual look how it looks like now let's just copy the text supporting text which is representing the pie chart itself which includes the headings which is the power the district heating and cooling industry and the sectors so I'm just going to copy this text I'm going to paste this in the second slide and see how it how it looks so now I've just copied the text that I copied from there just a quick review this is comic sans and the text i use for the heading is the calibri font and all the calibri font is being used in the just to keep the main heading different the breakdown of global energy i gave them a comic sans font now this part is done if you want to create a different variation if you want to reduce the size just copy this uh, image or this uh, shape and then remove this uh, layout first and then paste it as an image now you have an option to reduce its size as much as you want without destroying its quality also you can change the background color if you want in order to uh, make it suitable with your slide contents or the design that you are making you can choose a gradient color you can choose a solid color depending upon whatever you like so this is how you make a bar chart or pie chart with a different background and different gradient and also specify find specific sections in your uh, pie chart to show or to give importance once you make these diagrams for your presentations or for your manuscript it will definitely increase the worth of your manuscript i hope you guys like this video and if you haven't watched my previous videos on infographics and animation do check them out and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel till then take care allah hafiz